Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain and welcome back to another part of Borderlands 2 where we last left off was that we finished up two of the side quests that were remaining uh, one of the two or both. Yeah, one of the two um, Yeah, there's I didn't do much beyond that. I'm planning on doing the I like my monsters rare on my own time off camera <laughs> and such but uh, yeah, I don't I don't have any choice besides just Playing the game like normal and just continue on without finishing this or this. Um, yeah, there's not much right now so far that, that this map has to offer left. Besides the two other quests that I have to still do. Um, but yeah, uh, new day, new Why things, I guess. You can buy from me. New things, new days, stuff like that, I guess. Your um, cash ain't worth a thing if you don't spend it. Anyways, so we're done with this area anyways for the most for the most part we're done with this area We finished the main part. I think the main thing is that if I finish the main mission I or, or the main parts of the story. I think I would be mostly done um, The only reason I would come back would ever be to defeat those challenges But then it will take time to really figure out if I can beat it in time um, and it takes a lot of training because I don't really know exactly if I have to do certain things, but yeah. Um, yeah, I wanted to do the raid on Digistruck Peak. I haven't really tried it out. I have had a suggestion previously that said that this one was unique or something, but I'm going to give it a shot. But I won't be sure what's in it until I get through it. Oh man, the lighting makes my gun... Like Welcome shine. to the gauntlet. Please follow the smell of vomit and tears so we may talk face to face. As the vomit was mine, I recommend facing away from me. Okay, so Tannis is responsible for this, it seems. It's close to my sh sniper rifle almost. Your cash ain't worth a thing if you don't spend it. Uh, yeah, so Tannis is in control of this area? I guess so. I mean, I wasn't expecting Tannis to be the one in charge of this area in general. All right, let's talk to her. You will help me, and I will pay you. It is as simple as that. Sure, I guess. This I don't know. gate represents a test of your intellect. Are you clever enough to uncover the secret way to open it? Wait, what? What? Why are these telescopes? Okay, well, I don't know. I mean, I barely understand what the hell is going on in this Digistruct area. I'm assuming that this is kind of like a challenge area where it will help you train, I guess? I don't know. I do... What I do feel disappointed about is that there isn't, like, a, uh... Congratulations! Oh. You are now a genius by Pandoran standards. Sure. <laughs> Pandoran standards, but yeah, I mean I thought that this I, I thought that this was kind of like uh, Because I think I heard it was being a map thing a friend of mine said that it was a map sort of thing But I don't know much about it Exceptional. I got a skin uh, Next is the head Using a mixture of iridium digistruct technology and scooters salami stained fingers Try not to read into that. I've put together the combat trials you see before you. If you succeed, you'll be ready for a new Pandora. A Pandora of overpowered enemies, better loot, and an abundance of nacho cheese. It's been an eventful year. Anyway, off with you. Alright, so the plan here in this episode is to go through this and figure out what the hell this is all about. But also having fun, I mean. I mean, and this is only going to go for one episode. I'm not going to go too far into this episode because I was kind of like expecting not to finish this Digistruct thing. Um, considering that this might be like an infinite challenge kind of thing. I feel like it would be. Or there might be an end to it. I don't know. If not, then I might just like do it anyways for the funds. I mean... If you die in this gauntlet, I will take it as implicit feedback that I should consider making it easier. I will ignore this, of course. Mass murder can often be a form of quality control. And at the same time, they don't give you better loot, which sucks. I want better loot. I really do. 
I, I do want better loot, to be honest. Am I fighting robots? Oh no, I'm fighting skags. Alright, well, I mean, I didn't think I was fighting skags. Robot skags, to be more exact. Robot skags? Oh man, that's kind of weird. But yeah, I mean, I wish there was things that are like... Like the, the in the first game there was like like a new game mode two or something like that and it's like now you don't have that in this game I just wish that was like I, I just wish that the level up stuff and the redo of the whole game with the levels like being dramatically increased is back but sadly no sadly it doesn't work out that way all right yeah you guys don't give me a lot of exp. You guys don't give me a lot of XP. You guys suck. I mean, they're not too bad. They're kind of okay. Kill enemies. Sure. But, like, these aren't too bad, actually. So far, not too bad yet. Ow. Go that way, please. Oh. Ow. Ah. There we go. As I mentioned, they're not too bad so far. They're just like... I guess she might... Tennis might be right about having it be like... Uh, the enemies are starting to grow a little bit larger. I'm gonna reload here. Wow. Oh, whoa. That one had a lot of AXP. What? Oh, ow. I didn't know that one was- Oh, there's spitters here. Okay. Yeah, okay. I didn't know what- That one had a lot of XP. What the heck? There we go. I hear some of them coming back out. There we go. Give me shotgun ammo. What the heck? It's like these guys flew around. There we go. That's another one. Ow. Freaking attacking me as well. I'm getting just cheap ass guns right now. It's fine, it's just fine. Alright, so we're just gonna head around and just kill a bunch of enemies, I guess. Not even specific enough about enemies and totals of enemies to deal with. Oh, there's a bigger guy. Ah, I see. Oh, so, okay, so these guys, the rabbit skags, are the ones with the bigger amount of things, I guess. I think these are the, the the rabbit skags are probably the ones that are like bigger in terms of XP because they're pretty tough to kill. It looks like. Yeah, they're pretty tough to kill. Gotcha. There we go. There we go. Your death approaches. What was that sound? It's like. I was like, what? <laughs> All right. Um, over here, I guess. She moved herself, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so far it's not really much besides like itself being a challenge. Uh, let's grab whatever ammo we can get from this area, I guess. Done this. There we go. I mean, this place is not bad. It's just. Mordecai circling each other's metaphorical jerks over who gets to hunt the sudden abundance of vaults. Lilith and I created this training gauntlet for the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> you will help me test its relative lethality so that I may not inadvertently turn half of Sanctuary's fighting force into a gaggle of whimpering triple amputees. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not speaking. I'm sorry if I didn't spoke. I, I, I was just busy concentrating on aiming for them and such. But yeah, I mean... So this is like a training ground? Training ground for the Crimson the Crimson crew? People who used to be... Uh, organized by... Organized by... Uh, what was his name? 
It's been a while since I remember the guy's name already. Damn it, it's a soldier from the game, from the last game. Ah, oh, man, it's been a while since I remember his name. He, he freaking died, like, early on, and I just... I mean, I haven't seen him since. It sucks, but... Like, Brick, Lilith, and Mordecai. All... The three of them I know very well, because those are the three unique ones. But the soldier guy, he died really fast, so I can't remember everything from him. Or from his side. Well, that way. Got him. Gotta reload here. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I'm gonna move backwards furthermore because the guy, the spitter, is like, I'm gonna anger you. The true world revealed. Weakness is now Got him. To me. Time All right. To go to work. Yeah, so far it's just killing enemies. It's just telling me to kill enemies and then give it a shot. I'm I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like tier two, tier three kind of thing going on after the, like something similar to the badass attitude where it's like tier one, tier two, tier three, and like after you finish off the enemies, that's it. For the time being. Theater of Martyr Mar Martyrdom. Okay. I guess. This looks somewhat the same like the last one. Last area I was at. Oh, out. Gotta reload here. I don't think that was a double kill, but that was close. Reload, please. Oh, there's guys now. Oh, the shooter. They're shooting. They're gonna have shooters here. Woo! Oh, no, not shooters. Cyclones. Oh, never mind. Found them. Found those shooters. I was like, just, I thought there was nobody shooting at me. <laughs> I died, I died. And that's what it says. Come on. Oh god. Run to the side. Alright, there we go. I wanted to just shoot this guy dead with a headshot. No, you're not. What? When, when did somebody say you were cool? What? The, it looks like enemies are spawning from the back of the. Oh, there it is. That's why they were spawning in the back. And they're slags. Jeez. Jeez! Get out of here! Get away from me! There we go. Kill more enemies still? Aw, oh, man. Okay, so I get- I, I guess I get what this was wanting me to do. It's basically sort of like a challenge map. But still, I don't I don't know why. Why? Alright, grabbing everything there. And everything there. I'll teach that cardboard standy. High quality, low prices, and no questions asked. Sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip the coloring thing. Uh Farewell. Yeah, I didn't equip the, the skin color. Alright, cool. Um how many money do I have? Oh, I have to go back to building a million freaking dollars on my freaking thing again. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where were we? We were right there, I believe, right? Yeah, that was where Tannis was, standing up there. Tannis was standing up there. Um, we moved from the corner inwards to here. And then we're going to go, like, probably downwards. And land through there. And then we make it through into this little area and then back up to the to the bridge, I guess. So it's kind of like that. It's kind of like a ring around kind of thing. It looks like it. So far, it looks like it. It doesn't seem too bad here, but it seems like that's how it's going to be. Man, I'm lagging out every time now. It's weird. It's really weird. Borderlands been, like, lagging out for me for some reason. Like... If you've seen the past parts, it didn't lag too bad, but then now it's like it lags pretty hard a little bit. I guess I have to spend five reading dollars? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I don't mind that. Oh, for. Aww. They're not good stuff. They're not better than the stuff I have. No. Yeah, they're obviously never gonna be the good stuff. Um, where do I go from here? Game? You don't tell me straight up where I have to go from here. Do I just go down? Oh. 
I thought I had to stay up here. I guess not. Uh, let me sell these things before I go down. Welcome to my humble shop. Ding, 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 ding. I mean, Come it gives me more money, day. yeah, but I'd, I'd rather keep my reading dollars oh. for more storage later on. Alright. There we go. Spider tank, spider tank. Does whatever a spider spank. Can, what? Can spank. What the hell are those? These are not even things I remotely would remember fighting against, ever. This is the first time it ever is a thing. Oh my god. What? How am I gonna freaking destroy these things? Come back here, dude! Ah, damn it, I died. That was remotely bad. I don't know. I think it was the fire damage that I didn't pay attention attention for. Well, I learned a lot from that. That's true. I learned not to run in there like that. Failed. Oh my god. And so that tells me to keep going inwards more, I guess. Or it tells me to start over again. Okay, so that's basically the demo of the Digistruck Peak. But then again, it doesn't give me a lot of EXP. It gives me a little bit of EXP. I mean, the one that gives me the most is uh, just finishing it, I guess. But it's not much. Guns. I got them. You need them. No, I don't need them. So yeah, that's the gist of that, I guess. I'm going to move back to Sanctuary for a bit um, before I go into the next DLC. I'm going to start the next DLC for sure. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give the Digistruct heat a shot. Before actually going into the DLC and such. I still need to freaking get a QR code thing. I haven't been doing it because I've been busy, like, not doing it. Um, still dead, yeah? Uh, yeah, I, wanna, I need to meet with Earl. Earl! Wait, this is not Earl's place. There it is. Told you about this place. I'll kill him. Sure. Um. Yeah, I feel like I need to upgrade something. Ah, oh, what? I'm short by ah. Uh, I'm short by ten. Back. Ten iridium dollars short for the next upgrade for something, anything, literally. I hate that there's not a lot of iridium dollars being available for me. All right. Uh. Alright, cool. Alright, so it's either the Oasis. Okay, there's two more main DLCs left before I can end the series officially, if I need to or want to. Um, there's the Oasis, that's one. And there was the Abandoned, I think it was? Or Unassuming Docks, I think it was called. Yeah, Unassuming Docks, I think. Was where uh, Tiny Tina's thing was at. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I don't, or is it unassuming dogs or is it something else? I know it's Oasis is one of them. No, 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 they had a Hunter Scrotto. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably go for Oasis. I'll leave Tiny Tina's thing for last because Tiny Tina is pretty cool and I really enjoy seeing her again. But, uh, I like pirates a lot, so let's go for Oasis first. I know this is the one that inspired the, those pirates from the, uh, from the Headhunter pack. The one Headhunter pack. Cutscene? There we go. A long time ago, <laughs> there was a big pile of treasure in the desert. And the Volt Hunters found it and killed all the bad guys. The end. <laughs> No, 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 that's not how you start a story. I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed this week. No, <laughs> this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blades, lost treasure of the sands. Of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it. Of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly. 
who would stop at nothing to find it. Of a monstrous leviathan. Of the vault hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them. See? That's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. All right. So basically, the to my lovely town of Oasis, stranger. Now, if if you could please save me from the filthy sand pirates trying to steal my water. Sure, I guess. Ooh, I love that they have like the chest being treasure chest designs. All right. Well, I have to save that idiot. But let me grab my vehicle first. Hopefully there's no dinghy or something like that. There's something ridiculous. Oh, okay, now I can't really grab it at all. Okay. All right. I mean, uh, all right. Well, I guess. All right. Where is he, anyways? Where is he? They just like say like I need help, and I'm like, where? Welcome to the oasis. Man, this city's really well designed. It's like a. Oh my god. Every time when I walk into this like these uncharted areas that I haven't been to before in Borderlands 2. It makes me wonder about how they come together and such. Wait, did I miss all my shots there? All three of my shots and such? Oh, he's dead already. Wow. One shot KO. Really? Yeah, these guys are not that strong. Oh my god, the mist though. Get out of here. Ow. Freaking powder monkey. Oh. Ow. This guy's really easy. You think I wouldn't know that? Yeah, these guys are way too easy for me. Yeah, I mean, the DLCs are getting easier and easier each time I keep playing. Just a matter of like just messing around, I guess. There goes one dead. Oh, got one. There was one guy throwing a knife. There you are. I shot his ass. I don't think he's dead. Oh, come on down here, dude. There we go. That was cool. I actually like the introduction to this. <laughs> this is the, the the funniest and easiest introduction I've ever seen in my life. Are you the guy? Oh no, you're not the guy I'm looking for. It's like cowboys meet freaking pirates eventually, I bet. Oh man, these people died because of them? Are they even real people? Yeah, I think they just ripped your head open and then just like put a freaking thing on top. Give us some water and Sandman won't use your ribcage like a hat rack. What? Sandman would use your rib for a hat rack? Why is this thing not activated? What? Oh, what? No beard. Oh god. Hi. I'm gonna use my shotgun since this is the only one thing to kill you faster. Nice. Get out of here. You think Thank you can you kill so me? Very much, my friend. Yes, 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 yes. Now that my water is safe, let us chat in person. Like people. Like people. That ruckus coming from Oasis. Oh, Captain oh, Scarlet. Oh, hunter, I see. I'm Captain Scarlet, and something tells me you're here for the treasure, same as I am. So, we've got two options. We can work together and split the treasure, or we could just try to kill one another. Or maybe both! Come find me in Wormwater, yeah? Honestly, I don't want to kill Captain Scarlet. Captain Scarlet looks like a really interesting character, nonetheless. Oh! Kitty Dream, or Kitty Cream. Shade. I am Shade, and you? You are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. His freaking face, does, the design of him is like, what the heck? It's like a combination of the 1990 advertisements or 1960 advertisement with like the beach girls and such, and infused with some kind of like 
cartoonish like char caricature or something like that. You it's kind of weird. The gun at your side. I know, I know. Uh, it's just I don't know. It's weird. All right, let me go talk to them anyways because I can't save apparently. The townspeople of Oasis, thank you. I'll take the if thing. The treasure of the sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet? She's set up in Wormwater. You'll need a sand skip to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. I don't see anybody living here, but okay, I guess. Many jobs for you. These are easy missions. Like Why? And an alcoholic. Yes, it is a tragedy. He becomes very irate if he is not given the finest whiskey. Could you please procure some from the merchant caravans nearby? Sure, I guess. This is the, the quest is so easy. Why is the quest so easy? No, that's my levels. Oh no, that, that's my quest. Yeah. Firewater level thirty. Oh my god, these are level thirty quests. No wonder it was way easier than I expected it to be. Oh my god, I thought it was e not gonna be easy. And I, oh man, I expected it to be like level thirty-five or something or forty, but no. Or 35 at most, actually. 35 at most. But, like, damn. I didn't think it was just going to be freaking... Just level freaking, like, 30. I already freaking way past that. I'm 12 levels ahead of level 30 already. God. No. Alright, well, let's go grab ourselves a thingy, I guess. Or not thingy. Uh, It seems like it's a new vehicle. Each... each Part has its own unique vehicle, which is weird. Oh, th this guy again. My wares are only for those who have defeated a Seraph Guardian. What is a Seraph Guardian? I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna have to look up the Seraph Guardian because I don't know what that is, but it's like well, I really wonder what he shot. sells and such. Oh, I don't need that. Don't need that. Nope. Nope. Not. Nah. I'm sure we'll be doing this again. Alright. So this is kind of like a pirate ship, I guess. It's like a pirate ship with a turret. Uh. Oh no! Did my sand skiff just randomly explode, forcing you to stay in Oasis and hang out with me some more? Darn. Well, my other friends out in the flats might have some sand skiff parts for you. They are very nice and alive. Go talk to them. But be careful, if you step on the flat sands out there, the sand grubs will hear you and eat you, and then you won't be able to hang out with me. Um... Okay, that is awkward. Okay, I'm just gonna walk up to this part for a little bit first before going or going back to the city. But, I don't know. Oh. Kill himself. What? You just set off my trap card. Got him. Got him. So they're kind of like the robots, the EXP loaders, the ones with the Molotovs being held up. They're like the EXP loaders, but they're not. There we go. There goes that guy. Ow. Ooh. Stop hitting me, dude. You're not gonna get it. Alright, so there's nothing there. Alright, let me go and mark... Uh, let me get the other... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's nearby. This thing is near... <laughs> this thing is very nearby. What the heck? Alright, is there like a mission board, I guess? Let's take that. Yeah, their weapons are pretty weak. Oh man, this is gonna be way too fast then. This is gonna be way quicker than I expected to be. Because it's not that difficult to go through that. Go through this area if it's like level 30. Okay. You have found one of Captain Blade's bottles. Inside the bottle, you will find a key. The key opens a chest. The chest has loot. The loot will help you kill things. Find the chest, my friend. Am I imagining this, but is this texture a little bit off? I'm imagining this is a an off texture. This texture is not working properly. I feel like that might be the case. I don't know. Might be wrong. Might be intentional. Might not be. I don't know. Um. Yeah. I mean. 
yeah, it's just... So far, it's just nothing much. Okay, let me go and uh, switch up the missions here. Go back to... Uh, this. Yeah, because I might need that so I can get to the other places. I need to probably get to the other places that are, like, across from this town. But yeah, I mean, as I'm mentioning, like, the whole, like, scenery in this town. Even the ship, though. Look at this ship. Nice parking. <laughs> but, like, even the ship. Like, the way the way the, the developers imagined the city looking. The, the imagination of how the city should look like. Really, really is amazing looking. It's like a combination of, like, uh... South American uh, city. I forgot which one was it. Is it Brazil? I know it's like somewhere in Brazil. I think like it's a con like a combination of the so South American like cities and some other like parts of the Caribbean or some stuff like that. That kind of copies that format with the buildings, size skyscrapers and stuff like that, where they're like all places where you live, and then with the combination of like this dead place like it's no water like there's no water out there like a combination of like the the dead apocalyptic world view over here on the other end with all the mountains and such it's just crazy how they just do like a, a more urbanized and opposed to the post-apocalyptic or uh, apocalyptic apocalyptic like scenery kind of in the other group end it's like clashing themes of each other i guess it's just it's so interesting oh wait you're alive oh my word I oh yeah okay to come talk to me and this person is so handsome too <laughs> oh, that is mrs blavis be careful she is a relentless flirt i always feel like a piece of meat around her i gave her a coolant disperser several weeks ago as a gift take it could i please be getting surprised with that shake you are so attractive. Yeah. Weird thing is that I feel like this guy must have killed her. And this guy must have killed her and turned her into a, a speaker. Parts and you'll be on your way to Captain Scarlet and the Lost Treasure. How fun that you'll be leaving me alone. <laughs> your fault for killing these people on purpose. Hey, how you doing? They call me Jocko the Joker. I'm a laugh a minute. Hey, what's the difference between a skag and a lack of water? There isn't one because they'll both kill you. <laughs> oh, 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 he is a cut up. Oh, gosh, Jocko. Jocko borrowed one of my pressure regulators for one of his comedy bits the other day. Find it, and it is yours. Seriously, this guy. I prefer Claptrap's jokes and puns. Then, freaking! Oh my God, this is so sad. He's such a sad, sad man. <laughs> he's voicing everyone who doesn't exist anymore. Like they died, and he's still voicing for them. What in the name, dude? What in the name? I think I saw something weird. No, nothing. Just textures. Yeah, danger, death. Got it. All right, so we gotta climb up here, I guess. Uh, ammo. Yay, some ammo. Coming up. Okay, I'm going around. Oh, chess. More ammo. Great. Alright. Picked up. Ugh. Alright, two more to go. I don't know where the other two are, because I saw these two. I saw this lady and that guy earlier, but I didn't see the other two at all yet. Alright, so I'm going to take a stop here for now because of timing um but yeah we're gonna continue this and finish up this quest before moving on to the other side quests and picking up a vehicle and such i feel like i'm gonna i'm gonna probably be killing mr shades eventually i'm pretty sure of it and i'm probably gonna kill captain scarlet which i don't want to kill captain scarlet i feel like they might be both dead because i don't see them a lot in particular because in the headhunter uh Sir Hamelock's like headhunter pack with the uh, the son of the Kermarax, I think it was. The, there was no mention of Scarlet anymore. Like I didn't know where Scarlet went, and Shades wasn't even appearing either. So I was kind of wondering if they those who don't appear, then they might have been dead <laughs> in this DLC, and that's it for them. And like this is the only DLC they'll ever show up. But I, I'm I'm not sure. Maybe they might be there. 
or they might be alive, but that they just didn't show up because the developers didn't think that the characters fit or suit the environment of that headhunter pack. But who knows? I mean, that could have been extra DLC missions or side quests if they are still alive by that point. I don't know. I, I just don't really know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope you can see you guys in the next part of Nobody Minds. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night or whenever watching this. So, Ross.